Hi, I'm Judy Rickardson for Families in Global Transition, and I'm here today with Mary Langford, the Director of Langford International Education Consultancy, and Dr. Kim, who is an Associate Professor of Educational Psychology at the College of William and Mary in Virginia. Mary, would you like to start by telling us what your session at this year's conference will be about? Yes, thank you, Judy. Uh, we're giving a little taster for an institute that Dr. Kim, Deborah Rader, and I are offering in London next summer. And we have interests in creativity. Uh, Dr. Kim is quite an authority on creativity and has done a lot of research in this field. My own expertise is in third culture kids and international schools. And Deborah Rader has developed a model of transition education for schools that have internationally mobile students in attendance. We've put our heads together because we found a lot of overlap and uh, the, the traits and uh, characteristics that Dr. Kim has identified in creative people have a lot of resonance with people who know about the characteristics of third culture kids. So we're going to look at the question of whether third culture kids have a propensity to be more creative than average and what schools should be doing about that to promote that and to respond. So I think Dr. Kim might like to share a little bit about what is creativity, because I think there are a lot of myths about that. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, well, I will talk about what, in order, as, in order to develop uh, children's creativity, we have to understand what creativity is first. So I will talk about what is not creativity. There are a lot of myths about creativity. So um, like uh, just one example, when we hear about creativity, the word creativity, we think creativity in only art. So a lot of people think that I'm not creative because I can't draw or I can't dance. So it's something like that. We will display all those myths about creativity first. And then after that, we will talk about, because in order to have a creative thinking, we have to have a, we have to have a creative climate that fosters a creative attitude. Attitude is a similar to personality, it's a little bit different because personality is a half of a personality is a genetic, so it's a little bit harder to change, like introvert, extrovert. But we have a lot of creative attitudes that are identified from uh, the, the, like, uh, case studies of eminent creators or brain, uh, brain, brain studies. So I will talk about all those uh, creative, uh, creative people's attitudes. Uh, so when creative when children are in creative climate that fosters um, creative uh, uh, attitudes of children, then they eventually uh, display the creative attitude and then they go through a creative thinking process that eventually we come out something new and useful. So I will talk about all those, those processes. And then we will intertwine what we know about research with third culture kids with what Dr. Kim has found about creative people. And I think there are a lot of delightful surprises for people who worry about the TCK experience and the positive and the challenging situation that it puts children in. But if we can really know that they have a chance to be more creative, that's a real win for families to know about, provided the schools provide the right context. Mm -hmm. Okay, well that sounds like it's going to be uh, some really, a really interesting presentation and certainly uh, something totally new that we haven't heard before at Families in Global Transition. So thank you very much for... <laughs> well, we're, we're hoping that it will fuel some interest in doing research in this area because Dr. Kim has done extensive research into creativity but she's never focused specifically mm -hmm. on third culture kids and that would be the interesting research for someone to do. Absolutely. Well thank you very much uh, for speaking with me today and we look forward to seeing you at the end of the month uh, actually, the, uh, uh, just a week next or so. Week. Next week, end of next week. Soon. Yeah. <laughs> okay, thank you so much. Thank, thank you. you. Bye. Bye.